Now let's write a program that converts text messages into a sequence of numbers and back again. So first we're going to write the encoder program. Using OR and CHR we can convert a string into an out of numeric form. And the algorithm for the encoding program will look like this. First we're going to get the message from the user and then we're going to create a for loop for, to loop for each character in the message and then for each character we can um, convert the uh, convert it to the number and print and we learned that a for loop iterates over a sequence of objects so the for loop may just look like this so let's go ahead and write an encoder program first now let's write a program to convert a textual message into a sequence of numbers utilizing the underlining Unicode encoding so first thing I want to do is to save this file as encoder.py in, in the lecture for folder then let's write our main function and then uh, print and text to tell the users what the program does so this program converts a textual message into a sequence of numbers representing the Unicode encoding of the message and let's get started so the first thing you want to do is we want to get the uh, message to encode to do that we can create a message variable and we can say input I'm going to prompt the user say please enter the uh, message to encode All right, so we got the message from the user and then we can print the user saying that here are the Unicode or ASCII uh, codes all right, so now it's time to write a loop that goes over every character in that message and and then encodes and prints it. So before we do that, let's see if our program works so far. So I'm going to say python3 encoder.py. So this program converts a textual message into a sequence of numbers representing the Unicode encoding of the message and then please enter the message to encode so let's say hello for now so here are the unicode uh, codes which nothing is here because we haven't done anything now I'm going to create a for loop for ch in message and we already learned how to do this in the in previous uh, lectures now I can say print and then ch is every character so it'll be h like in this example h e l l and o uh, one by one so what i want to do is i want to use the ord function to get the ordinal or the numeric value of the ch simple as that and then i can keep things in a single line i can end this with a space and then when done we can print an empty the line here we go so let's go ahead and try this again so I'm going to run this file I'm going to type hello and then here are the Unicode codes for hello so 104 uh, 101 108 108 111 so if you rerun re this program this time type hello in all caps you'll see that the numbers are different now so 72 69 76 76 79 so you can go ahead and try this program on your own and then try it with different messages and then see how the uh, it add encodes to numeric values so if you want to break down this code into character by character you can actually change the print line and to do let's say ch So first print the ch then call the function 
and well before we do that we can say how about this I can actually put a plus here so I can control the space no space here and this we don't need this either all right so let's rewrite rerun this and see what happens if I say hello I'll get H the encoding of the H is this, E, L, L, and O. Just uh, if you're curious how this program works.